Right. So a lot of the comments are saying, you know, well, we can't do anything about it. It doesn't matter. And nobody cares. Um, YouTube is not a support system. No, YouTube is not a support system. But it's also not supposed to be an angry mob of vengeful, hateful people bent to destroy the lives of people who have said something to them that they didn't like. If you don't like me, you don't have to watch my videos. You don't have to see me. You don't have to comment. You can block my channel so it doesn't show up in your list anymore. Instead, you want to force me off of the platform because you say YouTube is your space. YouTube is very large with a lot of different personalities and people on it. If you come across somebody who is not your type, you should simply block them and move on instead of attempting to control them and make them leave the area that you have decided is yours, even though it is a public area. I know that YouTube is not a support system. Why did you have to make it a cult? Why did you have to make it a, if you're not exactly like us, you don't belong and you have to leave? That's not what it was meant to be. It was meant to be a platform where everybody could share their thoughts and feelings and opinions openly and honestly and find other people that support them, that are interested in that. A lot of you have turned it into a massive gang set out to attack and destroy the homeless and the mentally ill and people that you simply don't agree with. You can say YouTube is not a support system all you want, but what what is it that makes it what you've turned it into? You, know, you don't have to support somebody, but you also don't have to abuse them. That's your choice. You have the choice. You can either support somebody or you can criticize and demean and abuse. You have chosen abuse. Obviously, there's nothing I can do to stop that. It's the way human nature is. But I'm also not going to leave this public space just because you feel uncomfortable with me being honest and open about my serious mental health problems. I've also seen people saying you're just borderline and nothing else. Then why have multiple doctors diagnosed me with schizoaffective disorder? And they'll say, well, you tell them what to diagnose you with. That is not how doctors work. That's not how mental health hospitals work. There were a couple that I was in for weeks at a time that would monitor me, put me on medications. They know what they're dealing with. I did not diagnose myself or I would not have the medication that I need. That's what you people aren't understanding. And just like with a regular doctor, you're not going to go in and say, hey, I'm having a heart attack right now. And the doctor is, he's going to say, okay, we'll look at it. But he's not going to probably take your word, like if he does the test and it comes out that your heart is fine, you're not going to still be able to say, no, it's a heart attack. Because the doctor has done their tests and concluded what the problem is. Y'all aren't going to understand that. You don't tell your doctor what's wrong with you. You tell them what your symptoms are and the doctor diagnoses your problem. That's the same with mental health doctors as it is with physical health doctors.